after well over a year of hype and rumors surrounding GoPro's first drone, it's finally here. I'm Nick, and this is my review of the GoPro Karma. So let's jump right into it. One of the main selling points from the second the Karma was announced was that everything fits in the included backpack, so when you're on your adventure it's nice and portable, and it also doesn't get in your way if you decide not to use your drone. Also, it's simple to use when you want to take it out. You flip out the four rotors, you flip down the landing gear, you power the thing on, the controller doesn't need a phone to work, and it's all nice and simple. The gimbal flips down 90 degrees so you can shoot video straight down at the ground. The stabilization is the best I've ever used, certainly much better than my Phantom 2. There's also four built-in fly modes, one of them is orbit, you can choose a point and then the drone will orbit around it, you can adjust the speed and where the camera is looking. This one right here is reveal, where the camera pans up and it reveals a certain point that you pick uh, ahead of time. There's also a cable cam and there's something else called droning. A few other minor things, when you're in a restricted zone, you will have to confirm that you had permission to fly before the controller will let you take off. And another cool thing is, I'm not sure why you would use it, but you can charge the camera controller with the drone battery using the AC adapter. GoPro also claims this is more than just a drone, and it includes a grip called the Karma Grip that you can hold and get some nice uh, smooth shots when you're on the ground. It works pretty well, it also mounts onto the backpack. You can see here I'm running with it. I was pretty impressed that uh, Karma Grip was really getting thrown around, but the video is nice and stable, so good job there GoPro. Now let's move on to some things I wasn't too impressed with. The controller takes a long time to boot up, and I also had some problems with mine where the touchscreen didn't work. Also, GoPro doesn't have any replacements in stock right now. Another problem I encountered was the compass uh, interference warning would come up even when I was in the middle of a field, which was pretty odd because there was no metal around or anything like that, so hopefully it's something they can fix. In addition to those few bugs, I did have some cosmetic things with the rotor arms being scratched just from regular use, which is hopefully something that GoPro will fix in the version 2 of the Karma. This is where over a year of hype from GoPro has resulted in. It's finally here, GoPro's drone, the Hero 5 Black as well. The video quality is amazing pretty simple to fly, but it is definitely the ultimate GoPro accessory.